We'll now look at a permutation group that contains four elements. We'll use those concepts in the next video to construct a subgroup of our musical intervals and then, uh, and then we'll see what chord they specifically apply to or what chord that permutation group, that subgroup applies to. And I encourage you to think about ahead of time uh, what chord this might be. If we're talking about four elements, just as the, the augmented chord was three elements symmetrically divided within an octave, what is a chord going to look like that has four, four elements uh, evenly spaced within an octave? And we'll look at the, uh, the symmetry of that, what's involved, and the relationship within the group. Uh, so first let's take a look at the group itself um, in group theory, and then, uh, then we'll go from there. So here we see our group uh, arranged in the Cayley table with the elements 0, 1, 2, and 3. Then over here we can see the operation, the rotation operations, each corresponding to a row in the Cayley table. 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 0, and so on. And then on the back, we uh, finally we see our four reflections, delta 1 through 4, uh, the horizontal, vertical, and then the two uh, diagonal reflections. Now here's an interesting thing to think about. Earlier I mentioned how if we have n elements in a set or a group, there are n factorial ways of arranging those elements. So if we have four elements, there are 24 different possible uh, arrangements or permutations of that group. So why is it then that we only see eight, eight permutations for this group? We have four reflections, uh, four rotations and four reflections. Shouldn't there be 24? Well, the answer lies in the, the orientation or the symmetrical relationship each element has in relation to one another. See, if I, if I have the elements arranged in this way, uh, geometrically, and, and no matter how many times I rotate or reflect, the zero is always going to be crossed from two, and three is always going to be across from one. So certain permutations are not going to be possible within this group. So uh, these are the basics for this Z4 group. Now up next we'll construct a subgroup using these uh, principles.